Okay. Oh, I forgot how loud this bitch is. Shit. Oh my god. Let us lay them down. Is BTS coming? Is BTS coming? Is BTS coming? <laughs> okay, I'm not gonna play the rest of this because I don't want to get copyrighted by Shrek, which is also my favorite film of one of my favorite films of all time. Damn, look at how loud this bitch is, Taylor. Thirty-four black messages. Look at this. What? Bitch is loud, and oh. I wasn't even speaking loudly. Oh. Okay. Jeez, I have to whisper tonight. Hey, everybody. Don't be fooled by the Shrek opening. This is actually a K-pop podcast. My name is Channon. I'm Gerald. And this is Splitting Lemons. I just had to block Lord Farquaad two <laughs> times. <laughs> oh my god, this is Splitting Lemons where we talk about K-pop things. It's not necessarily Shrek related, but tonight it was. Um, Randomly. For no reason. Literally randomly. We're going to go it. into this because Taylor was present. We're going to have times for t- chilling lemons. <laughs> um, if you like this podcast, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And you can definitely share this video with your uh, your friends. Comment down below what's your favorite film out of the Shrek series. Mine's the first one. I enjoy the features on the second one. The third one is the one that I watch the most, though. I watched the fourth one once, and that was it. How about you? I don't have a favorite Shrek movie, Kyra. Trash. So it's, <laughs> what's really I'm funny? Trash. Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. What's really funny is that your favorite movie Ratatouille was on, and Nicholas was like, "Look at the rat Ratatouille." I had to be like, "Don't say that. The rat's name is Remy." So <laughs> let's get tonight started. Taylor, how was your weekend? You look really upset. There's <laughs> a lot going on tonight. I'm going to try and keep this ASMR nice kind of calm tone. Let's see how long it lasts. My weekend was fine. How was your weekend? Okay. My weekend was great. I was actually with a bunch of my friends this weekend. Wow, amazing. Who So, anyways. (laughs) It was my friend Chess's birthday yesterday. And so we got together and went to Virginia. And it was fun. And I went roller skating and I didn't fall. I almost did. I almost broke my face. But I'm alive. Also, I went to a haunted hotel with two of my other friends. I went with Kalia and Nina, and it was a wonderful experience. I don't want to give too much away because there will be a video out of it, but it will be on Nina, I think Nina's channel, and I will be linking it when it comes out. Hello, friends. There were ghosts, and hmm, I almost cried several times. <laughs> Literally, look, bruh. At one point, Kalia went into the closet, and she like shut off the lights, and I was like, oh my god, my friend. <laughs> But it was fun. It was really, really fun. Okay, Taylor, K-pop news. Where's my paper? Why Why did we bring up Shrek tonight? Do you want to tell them? Because oh, it yeah. just sounds like we love, like, I love, yeah. obviously I love Shrek. <sighs> I wasn't even going to get into it until later, but since we're already here, what happened was, I'm in a Discord chat, mm-hmm. and in the chat, we've been talking about doing like clean up or like just good Samaritan things mm-hmm. as army at the different uh, concert venues. That's really awesome. And I happened to open the chat. No, I got an alert from the chat. And since like the concerts are starting tomorrow, oh, so shit. like we kind of got to get the word out about what's what's supposed to be happening. Mm-hmm. And so I thought it was going to be related to that. But I opened it, and the message was from Lord Farquaad, and Lord Farquaad was saying, <laughs> they were like, it's BTS coming to do luck. Hence the intro of the scene. And I was just looking, and I was like, what the fuck's going on? And then they were like, hello, is BTS coming to do luck? <laughs> Someone answer me. And then they just like kept adding the channel. And then they were like, BTS sucks, flops. <laughs> And to me, peasants. And they were just going the fuck off. Um, I did take a video of most of the chat before I blocked them. Except in the end of the video, I typed in the chat and I was like, a bunch of question marks and LMFAO. But I didn't post it. But in Discord, you can see when someone's typing. So they saw that. And then they added me. And they were like, I see you, bitch. <laughs> and I 
just don't understand why any of that happened, but I blocked them and now I'm moving on with my life. Or at least I tried to. And then Kyra played. <sighs> to, uh, that's my shit. Shrek. It's one of my favorite films. Also, the second one, the features are really, really good, but the movie itself, like, it's a strong plot. It's a great. Okay, music. Rotten Tomatoes, can I have my Shut news, the fuck up. please? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. It's a great plot. <laughs> <laughs> um it's strong all right let's see if we have any any um follow-ups i don't have no news chilling women's will be what you know what i should have introed this as this is splitting onions a shrek podcast you just rolled your eyes really hard okay read shit leave me alone who i couldn't have rolled it any harder all right we have maybe two follow-ups but definitely one the first one is Hyuna was supposed to appear at the youth day concert in korea i assume and it was canceled due to internal circumstances and so the speculation is that maybe Hyuna was like i'm not doing no fucking work until you put my mans back on the team that's a because people pointed out that like nothing nothing has happened like in regards to Hyanna. Like she still has all her schedules. She like none of the fans give a shit about her dating. So if that's true. And she's like she's a she's a she's a money maker, you know. She, she just re signed her contract. I'm and I'm not like I know she's got bags, you know. Like she got money. So her. she doesn't like need to do work. So yeah. People think that she's just, you know, Leveraging her man's his job back, I know and I respect right. that. Right, cause like that's fucked up. Nina was literally like, "I just got into Pentagon, and both my biases are gone." I was like, "That's a hard knock life, bruh." Yes. Next. <laughs> Did I talk to you about Laisha? No, but I love them. I know what's happening, but I love okay, them. Okay, you want to take the story? No, go for it. I don't know who I talked to Laisha about then. Maybe I just read it, but this was between the last episode and now. But okay. Um, two of the members of Laisha, Goon and... Som? Yes, yeah, Som. I'm sorry, I'm blind. I thought it said Sorn because there is a K-pop member mm-hmm. named Sorn. But you know, I just need new glasses. It's fine. Don't y'all. Um, they posted on Instagram saying that they were victims of hidden cameras. Um, which we've talked about is a mm-hmm. is a huge thing in Korea right now. Lots of protests happening because of it. Um, I feel like I see a lot of videos from people that live in Korea or whatever. They're talking about now it's normal to like first thing you do when you go into a bathroom is to check for cameras, or you go into a dressing room first thing you do is check for cameras. Like That's anywhere, so yeah, fucking hotels and everything. Jesus. But anyway, um, they said that they found it in places like their transportation, dressing room, and bedroom. Um, and that they, they're gonna press charges or they're gonna take action or whatever. Um, when they first talked about it, one of the things they said is that they had been on a, on a show that was supposed to be like a variety show. Mm -hmm. Um, but that was supposed to be like a normal run of the mill Mm -hmm. variety show, like show the behind the scenes for the fans, not posts inappropriate pictures of them online with these pictures um and netizens at first thought that it was the company to blame and uh goon was like no it's not the company it's actually the people who did the show or whatever Mm -hmm. um but then of course leisha has sexy concepts and so people think that they're just make like this is just something made up um or that it's just noise marketing as they say um Of course, there's the ignorant netizens that are like, well, they're already used to being, to exposing themselves or what, however you want to say it, however you want to say it wrong. (laughs) Um, But yeah, that's the thing. That's what's happening. God, that makes me really, really upset. And it's really disgusting that people think just because they do sexy concepts that this is just like an okay thing because it's like that's your privacy being taken away like that's not like it's not like you're going out and like doing this yourself this is someone like putting you in a situation where you're being made to feel uncomfortable i don't deserve that like at all right consent is the huge thing it'd be one thing if that if that was something that they knew was happening but because they weren't like 
And it's not fair. Like, that's, like, the oldest thing in the book, being, like, oh, they do sexy concepts. Like, if you've seen Laisha before, if you've seen Pink Label, if you've seen Chocolate Cream, like, you know, like, they have very, very sexy concepts. But it's still, like, they're humans. They're people. You don't get to just objectify them like that. And it's it's really not an okay thing, like, at all. Best luck to Laisha, because I really, really love that group. I really do. I love those girls. Okay, that, that's it, yeah. Um, that's all for the follow-ups. Now we just got the new news. New news. You new news. Us anything. Right, exactly. Actually, I did when we first started. I did. Don't forget to like. <laughs> I'm, I'm on it. Not, not really. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And, oh, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. And if you'd like, you can definitely share this video with your friends. We are on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher. Not tune in, but you can buy us a coffee. Follow us on social media. That's Snapchat, Instagram, and Twitter. And now Facebook. Thank you so much. You are flying air lemons. Take a seat. Keep your shoes on, though. Thank you. Okay. Taylor, that's it. Hey. We're back. <laughs> <laughs> With your regular schedule program. <laughs> um, Kyra mm. and listeners, Lemons, have you seen the video of Ayu singing at her backup dancer's wedding? No. Two of Ayu's backup dancers got married Aww. recently this past week. And there's a video of IU singing at their reception. Mm -hmm. And the, the bride and the groom start doing the dance of the song that IU singing. And they're all like doing this shit together. Oh and it's God. so cute. If you haven't seen it, look it up. It's that cute. That sounds so precious. Aw. That sounds so precious. I love it. Next. Uh, let's go to concerts. Okay. Icon will be in Sydney and Melbourne mm. on October 25th and 27th. Teen Top is coming to the States. Teen Top, we go fucking drop it, stop it, and no drop it, popping boards! Bruh, we're not here. I don't care. They're not coming here. <laughs> See, look, you thought? All my interest is like gone. <laughs> December 9th through the 15th will be in LA, Atlanta, San Juan, and Jersey City. Must be nice. <laughs> Teen Top, don't act like I... Okay, anyways, go off. Zico's coming to the States. We talked about him going to... To the zongle. To Japan. <laughs> oh I really hated that so much. <laughs> to Japan and to Europe. <laughs> and to the jungle. Taylor sent us like the the picture for his promotion in like our group chat, and I was like, I hate this man so much. Fucking zungle, like get out of my face. <laughs> That's like me being like, hey, yo, Kyra's going to the Congo. <laughs> I can't. Okay. He's gonna be here. You get to just take the first letter of words. <laughs> going to the tungle, like that's Taylor. <laughs> Oh man, he's gonna be here October 21st to the 28th. He'll be in LA, San Francisco, Chicago, and New York. Mm -hmm. uh, the Mamas will be held in oh, Korea, Japan, and Hong Kong. And that'll be December 10th, the 12th, and the 14th. Bruh, it really is a world season. It's awful. Literally, it's about to get. Oh, God. There was one this week, but. And I looked at it and I was like, should I talk about this? But there was like, it was like 30 level awards and it was, it was just too many. And it was like, it was just too much. I didn't want to deal with it. Look it up though. If you feel People like won it. Things. People did win. It's a possibility one of your faves won. They might have. Everybody Ooh. won. It's like a surprise. Everybody got an award. I didn't. Fuck them. It's fine. <laughs> it's because I was in the Congo. I, I couldn't. Oh my God. <laughs> Jin Hu, go on. Okay. Super Junior fandom, ELF. They Elves. won Elves. They won the Billboard 2018 Fan Army Face Off. What? Way to go, Elves. Indeed. They're all grown. Fun story. 
as with, with most fan voting things, people thought that BTS would win. But when it got like narrowed down to, I don't know, I guess top three, it was BTS versus Harry Styles. And then the album came out, Love Yourself Answer came out, so I guess people stopped voting, so BTS lost to Harry Styles. <laughs> That's hilarious! That's the power of music, baby. Oh my god. And that's my story. That's really funny. That's like kind of funny. Um. Next. Jason Derulo. Jason Derulo. NCC 127. Nick. And. <laughs> and Lay. Lay. China Sheep. He's a China Sheep. They're gonna be on the Michael Jackson tribute single. Or on one of them. Everybody. And their random ass cousin is on this fucking Michael Jackson <laughs> tribute. <laughs> oh wow! So look forward to that. Yeah, that China sheep. You said it's one twenty-seven. Yeah. I like those boys. Um, and then let's group not a BTS podcast, what? but uh, they're the first ever K-pop group to get to the UK official singles chart top 40. I mean, it's number 21. Wow. Uh, Love Yourself Answer also made number one album on the Billboard 200. Mm-hmm. And on the Hot 100, they got 11th. That's awesome. Number 11. Yeah. That's really awesome. She's a cute album. She's no tear, but she's a cute album. Indeed. Um, Blackpink Dru uh, made number three on YouTube's top ten songs of the summer global list. Hit you with that. That's awesome. <laughs> oh man. Oh my god. Also, Blackpink will be featured on Dua Lipa's song called "Kiss and Make Up." I literally thought it That's was coming like, out on October 19th. I thought you were supposed to the Michael Jackson thing. I was about to be like, wow. <laughs> I would have probably loved it. On you. <laughs> I love it. I like, it's interesting more Western artists collabing with K-pop artists. It's very interesting. Very, very interesting. I wonder who's next. Ha ha. I feel like you can't, it's not like they can ignore K-pop because how no. many fucking K-pop stands in the comments like with the fucking like, with Jenny as their either. picture Literally. or goddamn Jimin like oh god Jimin making an ugly face Jesus um plus you know K-pop fandoms <laughs> if you want to make money if you want to get a larger audience that's where to go that's just marketing I saw I saw like a math teacher. A math teacher? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> he, he was like, I was trying to use BTS as an example, and now I'm a fan. And they had like 10,000 10, retweets, and he was just a math teacher. Exactly. A high school math teacher. I was like, all right. And then he, like, his most his most recent post when i looked was like hey bts if you want to help me out or not bts bts army if you want to help me out here's how and i was like see that's literally what like, if you mention bts people if you mention something with k-pop people are going to be interested that's just how it goes so i'm not mad at it because it makes it easier for me to possibly see my faves in the states that's just me so plus the niggas making money kings of capitalism queens of capitalism come on black pink I wish I knew the Seinfeld little bass line. The do, 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 do. <laughs> That's not how it goes. That's the way the news goes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, don't forget to like. <laughs> oh, you right. Don't forget to look. Look, y'all. Yeah. I'm literally off my game. I'm like running on like five hours of sleep for a, like a whole weekend. Since since the weekend. Um, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you want, you could definitely share this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe if you Why want. Why you start over again? <laughs> because it doesn't have the same effect. You can share this video with your friends. Uh, we are on all social media. That's Snapchat, Instagram, Twitter, and now Facebook. Um, there's something else I'm supposed to say right now. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> you could listen to this on um, YouTube, but we're also on SoundCloud, iTunes, Stitcher, and not tune in but if you would like you can buy us a coffee you are still flying air lemons keep your shoes on thank you
There's no snacks on this flight. <laughs> Except for lemons. A whole lemon. There's only lemons. A whole lemon. You have to peel it yourself. What if it gets in my eye? Mm, you signed the waiver. Like, <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. My recommendations for this week. NCT Dream put out an album called We Go Up. It was really good. It I actually surprising. enjoyed it. And when I told Nina and Kalia that I actually we enjoyed it, <laughs> Kalia was like, oh, so you only like that grown man shit. You don't like that little boy shit. I was like, yes, like, exactly. <laughs> Literally, they were in the hotel room just walking around in circles like, oh, what? Taylor, really? It was so <laughs> fucking funny. <laughs> I was like, exactly. Oh, it's so That's funny. literally what it is. The whole album's about Mark leaving. And it's cute because he's, he's the, Mark. if you look at it, he's the only one with the dark hair and in the music video because I watched it. Because he's probably, old. He's like, everybody is sleeping, but he's like sneaking out of the room. And it's really emotional. It's really emotional. I think I won't watch. Thank you. Um, Next, an artist named Ravi. R-O-T-H-Y. Oh. And she has an album called Shape of Ravi. And it was good. Um, her voice reminds me of Lehigh a little bit. There's Jin Longuo. He had an album called Friday in Night. Ooh. It was good. Shinwa had their 20th anniversary special Ooh, album called Heart. It was good. Them niggas are mature. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, like that, what the fuck like, did she just say? You know what I mean? Like, you're like very mature. Like, Kalia was mad. She was like if you think about it that okay you know how like nct is to super junior super yeah. junior is to shinhua and i was like yeah. that's mature <laughs> like those guys are older and they're still out here okay. kicking around and doing being sexy like okay mr fucking the red light <laughs> that's one of the best songs in k-pop we live for this love you're my love and then we, you're my love 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 penis venus Okay, we're gonna move on. Um, uh, f- okay, Jamie, Jamie slash Jamin Park, but not Park Jamin that we know and often her. speak of. Mm-hmm. She put out an album called Jamin X Jamie, and it's really good. She's I enjoyed amazing. it a lot. I miss her vocals. Oh my god, I miss it. It's great. Jeez. Um, and then some little one-off songs. There's somebody named DJ Aster. Mm-hmm. And he has a song called Champagne, and Rain sings it, and it's good. Yeah. There's um, a rap duo named Part Time Cooks. They did a song with Jay Park called California Butterfly. Mm-hmm. Bacon, Bacon, and Loco put out a song called Young. That was really good. And then Eden, Babylon, Wo- and Woods, Baby with a Z, ways. yes, put out a song called Drive. That was also really good. I really like SF9's Jealousy. That's not like a newer song, but that's my recommendation. I don't ever do those, but that's such a gay song. It's so good. Woo! Oh, am I plugging again? Like, comment, and subscribe. Oh, shit. I gotta read. <laughs> Kyra's gotta read. My eyes itch. Can't read without oh my those. God, it's time to end it. I know. Like, shake your ass for me. Shake your ass for free. Remember that? It's one of the songs that Jake sings. Um, I'm above baby, but I dance like a man. Hey, What's the next line? Like she's a nice me. lady and she's shaking her yams. I'm the nice Spent lady. Spent the whole summer trapping out this sedan. Oh. Marching with the bears because I think that I can. I'm a lover, not a fighter, but I'll never let you flex on me. That's all I got. Y'all. That was really beautiful. That was Toby Lou. The way you buff said baby. flex on me, it made me emotional. <laughs> Like, never. Look. <laughs> like, oh my god, did I actually plug? Like, comment, and subscribe. Please share with your friends. Yeah, I have no idea what you said. I won't lie. I don't you. either. I blacked out. No. I just stopped listening to me. <laughs> he was just going off. You know what? That's such a mood. Sometimes I'm like, yo, you're still talking. And then I should be like, boop, boop, boop. And just like, shut down with the comprada. All right. Now we're in the comment section. First, we have Ali, Ali Diaz. Y'all, I'm going through the same thing right now. They should have announced the one person goes in per purchase ahead of time because this is stressful. Taylor, did y'all figure out that one person thing? We're going to rock, paper, scissor it, unfortunately. But you know, I was looking at, I didn't know that the prices and the like information for the Day 6 concert was out. 
so I looked that up today and I was like wow subculture is so organized why why aren't they doing the big concerts why is it always powerhouse that does the big ones and they always fuck it up somebody needs to give subculture a promotion because them bitches have it on lock also who out there is thinking about going to go see day six in concert Mm -hmm. let me know i need you to make a brian poster just put his face on it that's the no no words just a big old picture of his face but make sure you say Brian, because he doesn't like being called Brian. Just Give a poster, not with his face. It just says Brian. <laughs> <laughs> You're right. Do that instead. He'll be so mad. He'll stop playing and leave the stage. Oh, my God. Next up, we have Don Mills Fan 88. This, uh, that makes my heart sing every time I read that. Hey, what's up, comrade? compadres you see what i did there lol splitting those limons hey guys that intro was much hype i haven't watched very much of the show glad to know you guys are doing good the past week for me was decent minus the dehydration i'm still recovering from the comeback random question feelings on the new album favorite song we stand a game virginia lmao 6 32 p.m thinking about why flamingos have wings but don't fly much don't fly much well, I honestly bawled my fucking eyes out when I heard about Yanan and Yidon. Like, I can't deal. I heard about all the stuff and it, hit, like, hit me. Like, let that man live. He just wanted to be able to love his shorty freely with no restriction. restrictions. Like, shit, if Bora was with someone, I would bust that biggest nut would be happy for her. People kind of need to get over themselves. I'm hoping Yanan is okay, though, because that's my baby. And my, oh, that's my, that's, that's my baby! All right. <laughs> Goo goo ga ga butterfly. That's such a good song. Oh, Kinda hates it when I shout the butterfly part. But it's fun! Uh, God. I lost my place. Oh, fans, you can't date anybody. Oh, you can't date anybody. Me? Oh, really now? I want to see Jay Park in concert. Bad. <clears throat> I would cry at the opportunity to see Zico or Crush. Eric Nam is my man. I honestly was thinking you were going to say the bl- that Blackpink and BTS were making a song together and I got ultra hyped. Random question. Do you like tacos? Get it out of me. Ah! I does like was looking confused. Uh, thought you were trying to release a spirit instead of a sneeze. Oh shit. Uh, Kai does, does deserve it, man. Like imagine Kai wearing trophy wife. He's got such nice complexion. Also, not that the rest of the guys don't have nice complexions because they're all beautiful. I couldn't imagine continuing to dance and shit after hurting myself like that. I kind of wanted to see how it plays out, but I feel like uh, it'll end up like a bootleg pitch perfect. Okay, real quick about that girl throwing out her fucking arm and then keeping on dancing. That was the wildest shit. Like, oh my god, I thought about that so much during this week. I, I, like, I really wouldn't, I would have just walked off stage and they wouldn't have been able to bring me back until they put my arm back in its socket. Um, though the concept of, of it confuses me. Oh, no, no, no's. I don't know what that means. I'm weak. LMAO. Did y'all peep how in the icon video that Jungkook was twerking? I was on Tumblr and someone put a gif of it and I was weak as fuck. I love Tear. Tear is, is forever my favorite, man. But you know, answer is coming for me. But as my favorite... Oh. Oh, coming for me is my favorite. I like that you talk about the awards and stuff. Though it can be or seem repetitive when brought up. I do like when you talk about the triple crown and all kill stuff. But honestly, I'm content with what content with it all i listen to everything my favorite color is lavender i enjoy all kinds of music my favorite song at the moment is moo by doja cat it's lit as fuck to be honest it really is it's such a good song um you're welcome i told you i was gonna do it lmao hashtag don mills fan forever guava juice is so good bro that book sounds really good i have too many favorite books to be honest so i can't name any though there is this really good one called milkweed that i fuck with heavy Josh Grisham, the Josh Grisham is the author uh, to a time to to a time to kill, is an amazing author who's made many amazing books. The Office is my shit. I forever will repeatedly watch it, no matter how many times I've seen it. You should watch Queen of the South. It's really good as well. It's cool, LMAO. Oh, it's cool, LMAO. I laugh at it though. That shit really did hurt. Fifth grade was lit as fuck. Not being able to walk and get getting to leave early during classes. I'm kidding. Real quick, I feel as if I keep getting recommended to watch Queen Queen of the South, so I think I'll add that to my list of never-ending shows that I need to watch. Because Lord knows I'm so bad at starting shows. 
Oh, first question, Taylor. What are your thoughts on the new album? Which one? Bits? Yeah. Bits. Um. By the way, I still haven't flipped the poster upside down. I'm gonna do that right now. Do it, bits. <laughs> Just look at me and get comfortable. Like, what the fuck? Um, I liked it. I still like Tear more. Um, but I obviously like the additions to Answer. I love the trivia songs. Um, I fucks with them all. And Kyra thought she got away with me not playing Just Dance. But it's fine. You know why? Because we gonna hear it tonight. Tonight. Um, tonight, such a beautiful night. Sing it with me now, 2011. Okay, anyway, so yeah, I like those the best. And those, that's how I feel. Okay, okay, go, 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 go. Let me Can you tell? I love Big Bang all of my heart. I will literally sing any Big Bang song all the way through. Okay. Do you like tacos? Hell yeah. I like tacos. I'm a soft shell person. I do prefer burritos though. I think burritos are more filling, but that's just because I like a lot of shit in my burritos. I used to like soft more, but now I like hard. I like the... Oh, you're a crunchy man. I like the crunch. It's kind of crunchy, bro. Okay. The look that was pure disgusting. <laughs> Oh, what about y'all? Oh, Taylor, do you have a favorite food? Yes, you like it. Potatoes and cheese. That's it. <laughs> oh, you're a potato man. Okay. And a cheese man and a meat man. Like, I feel as if that really is your brand. Like, literally. You know what I'm going to have for dinner? What? Ham and potato salad. Meat and potatoes. <laughs> wow, that's a real man right there. We love a real man. All right. Now, we just hit the 30 minute was mark. That, all the that was all the questions. Oh shit. Wait. We're going full of bullying, y'all. Who's ready? Everybody clap your hands. Clap, 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 clap your hands. Because now, we are flying over the Chilling Lemons area. Okay, Taylor. Chilling Lemons can't begin until you fix your fucking poster. No. Uh, that's really fucked up. I don't want to get up. You don't even have to stand. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, so what do you want to talk it's about during Chilling Lemons? It really is. I don't want to. I have, a, I have okay. a, um, a dilemma. Okay, I'm ready for the dilemma. You can change the poster while I talk. No! <laughs> I was hoping more could make me do that. <laughs> um, so you remember a few weeks ago, we were asked if we were going to the DPR concert? Yes. DPR so I didn't even know when it was. Did it already happen? No. It happens the day before the City Field concert. Mm. So I'm conflicted because I'm going to be at the City Field concert. Uh -huh. So if I'm already going to be in New York, why not go? You're right. If you have the opportunity to DPR. But it kind of complicates things because... I didn't want to drive because I don't want to pay gas and tolls by myself. But if I go, that's going to be an expense yes, it will. if I drive. Not to mention, I will also have to find somewhere to stay Friday night mm -hmm. because I don't want to sleep in my car. And even if I did sleep in my car, where will I get ready? Exactly. In your car. <laughs> no, mm -mm. Exactly. Not, yeah. <laughs> Damn. And at oh. least Saturday, like, I could be like, okay, I'll just drive until I'm tired, and then I'll find some place to sleep for a few hours, and then I'll drive some more. Or, or more expenses is to find some place to stay Friday night and Saturday night. Mm -hmm. Or, I talked to Mama Lemon about me riding with her if she was going to go back the same night. Mm -hmm. But that would just... If I did that, then that would pull it off the table completely unless I just rode back home. But then my car, but then I'd have to take a bus. Exactly. I don't know. It's, it's just a lot. 
but I'm but then like DPR. <laughs> then DPR came on Spotify the other day and I was like fuck the cheese and <laughs> wine bitch if you have the opportunity to do this we gotta figure that out because Unless that nigga's gonna come back again the month after that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, it, you'll be like right there. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's what really gives me. Like, I'm gonna be there in the first place. Mm-hmm. <sighs> well, where are you staying, guys? Like, is it like expensive or something? How much would like another night be on? Or right now, I'm not staying anywhere. True. Maybe you could see if they have like a hostel or something, you know? Like,. I'm sure they have something that's like super super cheap for people like travelers who are like coming through some places and then like what do i do with my stuff when the concert starts oh fuck well okay if like if i have a whole ass i mean i pack light so like i could just have a backpack in my purse but could you possibly put it in are they gonna is it gonna be like a big deal if i have my backpack you know yeah it will be um if if Mama Lemon doesn't mind, could you possibly put it in her trunk and then get it afterwards? Oh, perhaps. But then that's the whole question about the DPR thing. Where would you put it at then? Right. Find a friend. <laughs> could befriend a rat. See. Oh. <laughs> have him watch after your things. Oh see man. If you, see if you could find Donatello and them's rat dad. <laughs> he seems pretty cool. <laughs> Oh, oh for those of you who don't know, if you're still hanging around here, if Shrek didn't turn you what? off, look, like, I'm saying, oh. like if the beginning didn't turn you off and you're still here, Chilling Lemons is basically a segment where we talk about literally whatever the fuck we want. It can, but it doesn't necessarily have to be K-pop related, and we're also kind of just talking about shit. So it gives you guys the opportunity to hear us talk about whatever, oh, and it's it's usually all over the table. I have something new to talk about. Okay. I've been looking for a part-time job. Mm-hmm. Our friend Nina walks dogs in D.C. Yes. Hi, I was Nina. like, I want to walk dogs in D.C. Mm-hmm. So I applied to the one that Nina works at. But I don't have availability when they need me to. Yeah. So they were like, call me if your availability changed. And I was like, fuck then i found one down here that does it and they had fucking now hiring on their website but i sent her my resume and she was like we're not hiring right now i'm like update your website you bitch false advertising you should sue then i've been looking at the gigs postings on craigslist Mm -hmm. and i saw another one another dog walking place in dc so i applied Mm -hmm. i just want to know why the universe won't let you walk a dog. <laughs> I just want to know why I needed six references to walk a dog. Why they needed... Oh, that's why you asked for my number? Yes! Literally, because... Because I'm... also, because you... Sometimes you should be, like, changing phone numbers, and I don't have them anymore because I only talk to you on Kakao. Mm-hmm. And then you'd be like, call my phone, and I'm like, I don't know what your right, number yeah. is. I don't know how to co- get in contact with you. I changed it three times in, like, the span of two months at one point. It was a lot. Yeah, and I didn't have that number, so... Yeah. It was funny how you messaged me though, because you said, Kyra, what is your number? And I was afraid because I was like, oh my God, somebody's dying and Taylor needs to talk to me. <laughs> oh, but I'm glad to hear it was just for a reference. That's great. Yeah, but I needed three professional references and three personal references. For what? I just want to walk dogs. <laughs> okay, I guess not. Fuck you. Right. <laughs> We're just workmates now. Didn't he need to know, like, the month, day, and year that I worked hot, worked at certain places. I don't know that. I just put the first of the month. There's then crazy people out there that want to work with dogs, and like people want to make their people's dogs are like their babies. But it's also like some of the stuff wasn't even up to date. Like some of the forms, they'd be like, okay, enter the date here, and the hot and the only year in the drop down field was like 2014. Like, that doesn't even make sense. They was like, link us your MySpace. <laughs> Let us see what you're really about. Then they want to know, most jobs want to know, like, your supervisor's name and their phone number. And I'm like, nigga, I don't know that. Like, I don't know these people. I I've worked here for money. four years. Like, these are the only people I know. Really? For four years? Almost. That's so crazy. It's awful. <laughs> End it. Pull the trigger. Pull the trigger. I love Shiny. That's a great song. Remember when I had that dream about that song? 
We went to some like meet and greet, and it was for <laughs> it was for GD and Top. Uh-huh. But we were waiting for them to come in, and that song came on, and like everybody in the room started fucking singing it, and I was like, "This song is so good!" <laughs> and then in that dream, I think we hugged Top. I love that man. I hope he's doing well. God, I love me some older K-pop people. Hey, top. Oh my God, I wonder how Jiang's doing with his ankles, his bankles, bionic ankles. <laughs> okay, yeah. Do you have anything else to talk about? Cause I like I I didn't know we wouldn't have this much news, so I don't know what else to talk about. Come up with something. Make something up. I came up with two topics. Oh, you're right. All right, let's talk about. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Damn. I don't know. What what do you what do you what's your ideal? Oh that's a that's a very deep question. Damn. Let's do it. Okay. Chilling living. Okay, so like here we go. If someone were to come to you today and be mm. like, Hey look, we have the opportunity for you to move and we have this job startup, whatever, it's your perfect job. What is this perfect job offering that they're giving you? So if someone were to come to you today and be like, we have this job, we get to move to this awesome location, this is just the job that it is, would you be up for it? What is this job that you're applying for? Does that make sense? I don't... See, that's why I was like, it's a deep question, like, you gotta, like, really think about that one. So, like, I don't know if I'm the right person to answer this because I would jump on any job that's gonna let me move. (laughs) Okay, so like, let's say it's not even about moving. This is just somebody's offering you a job. What is this job that they're offering you? But it's your perfect job. <laughs> you said I would jump about any opportunity to move. You got me licking envelopes, bitch. I be licking envelopes <laughs> in Montana, <laughs> Alabama, no, South Carolina. <laughs> just move me. <laughs> God. Um. Um. Yes, yeah, so that's why I was like, let's. That's why I was like, I don't know if this is too deep. I mean, I know. On, another thing on chilling lemons, we tend to get very deep sometimes. We just started this like within the last few weeks, and I feel as if our conversations have been really, really like good. You know what I'm saying? Also, ooh, this is for all the kids out there, or not even just kids. Who out there is going back to school? I know that. Um, my younger sibling today was the first day of school for some people over here in Maryland so if you're going back to school how are you feeling how are you adjusting what are your thoughts if this is your first time like (laughs) going to school like you're going to college or something whatever how are you thinking what are your thoughts um I don't think much because I'm not in school right now but yeah tell us in the comment section below or if you could go to school like if you could learn anything any subject, anything at all, any type of trade, what would you want to learn? I think I would want to learn about languages and different religions and spiritual practices. Um, maybe just cultural things. But I also think I would really be into something with anthropology. Or just like bodily healing. I also I wanted to study Reiki for a little bit. I was looking for some areas around here that like do classes and like there's some that are like pretty much right up the road but the classes are really expensive so i gotta figure that out i would also maybe do massage therapy um do they have medium classes like spiritual classes they probably do maybe some art classes i want to take a class to learn how to like um like a film theory type class like directing and things that's one of my goals that i want to do i want to um write uh, direct, do all the tech work for, and be also be also in a, a short film. I think I might do that work. I'll start working on that this year. I don't know. You still thinking, Taylor? I don't know how to answer it because I have so many different interests. Mm-hmm. And I also know what avenues specifically work oriented Mm -hmm. that I do well in like I think that I could be a good manager Mm -hmm. whether that's managing a person or a business Mm -hmm. um I'm a person that has good ideas Mm -hmm. 
idea, man. That, that, that's good. That's good. <laughs> we want your ideas. Okay, <laughs> let's go. Like, <laughs> I don't know. Okay, how about this? If somebody was like, I have a dog. <laughs> You can have this dog. What dog are they offering you? Like, what type of dog? What race of dog? Is that the right term? Species? Breed. <laughs> Breed. There we go. <laughs> what breed of dog are they offering you? I want a Samoyed. They're fluffy. Ooh. But they're are also those, a lot of work. I was say, are those those big old dogs? The white dogs, yeah. Oh, they're so pretty. Mm-hmm. I want a gray pit bull named her Daisy. She's my angel. I love her. I take care of her. We grow old together. I'm naming my dog Donut. Like a powdered a donut. Oh. Because <laughs> I got a hole. Nigga. <laughs> That's so much cuter than what I thought it was going to be. <laughs> wow. All right. Okay. So, okay. How about this one? If you had to change your name, what would you change your name? Or what, like a nickname? Like, what would you like to be called? Like, hey, it's Cool Guy. <laughs> hey, it's Terrence. That's a cool name. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, if you could, like, go by any other name, what would you want to go by? I'd go by Leo. Okay, there's your answer. <laughs> like, don't look at me like I'm crazy. Would you rather have a swimming pool in your backyard or... A really nice, like, two-person, balls-deep bathtub. Oh. That's also a hot tub. That one right there. Like, I'm sorry, pool. <laughs> Fuck you. But, like, a big-ass bathtub? That's where I live. I was literally just thinking that I want to take a nice bath, but I haven't taken one in so long. I've never had a bath in my life. <laughs> that sounds... That sounds real dirty. <laughs> like, you ain't never taken... <laughs> you ain't never been in no two <laughs> Post Malone. <laughs> Post Malone, we don't know him. Okay. <laughs> but I know what you mean. I know what you mean. God. Oh, man. We gotta... I, <laughs> we gotta make that happen. 2019, we're gonna get Taylor back. <laughs> goal you guys oh fuck oh man we should do that because honestly like if it's like a two person like it's a huge and it's like got jets and, and it's deep like yes that's literally what i want that's the ideal setup i would have like a glass of wine my bottle of water some strawberries some music playing or maybe a show playing possibly the office or something that's nice and funny maybe a drama um a nice slow music indoor i've got lights or a outdoor hot tub Indoor, I don't like bugs. <laughs> I'd be mad if we sitting outside. Outdoor hot tub with no bugs, or indoor hot tub with bugs. Because <laughs> <laughs> that's fucked up. Because that's just a house problem. <laughs> and you see an ant, a single ant. The <laughs> that's my nigga. I'm gonna leave him there. <laughs> and there's a fly in the house. No, now we have to go. <laughs> Because flies, flies can, annoying. they yeah. can easily be evil, especially if like you're evil. like, yeah, it's like you're in like your zen place, like you're really into meditation, like you got the office going, Michael is doing something stupid, you got your crystals next to you, your wine is kicking and all of a sudden there's like a buzz and you're like, I want to die. Like, <laughs> you don't want to get out of the tub because it's so comfortable. Like that's, that's evil. Oh my God. The other day, like I think it was like a week or two ago, I was taking a shower and like, I take super super hot showers and the water over here like it goes from being like kind of cool to literally like scalding and not even like oh yes yeah, scalding but like oh my god I'm dying scalding like it's not even fun anymore hell. literally like dipped in hell and so I was like taking the shower and there's this fly that's flying around and it hits me on my cheek I was like yo fuck you <laughs> and then it like there's like a I don't say a ledge but like a little shelf at the very top of the shower and I see it fly up there but I never see it come back down I think it died <laughs> I think that the steam just like suffocated <laughs> and I was like yeah, that's the fuck you get like I, t I tried to get it out oh man 
That was a fun question, but I'm going to leave the answer. <laughs> I'm going to stay inside. Hmm. Okay, that was a really great question, Taylor. Wow. Hmm. What are some other ones? Um, I was going to ask your ideal concert, but we've done that a couple different times before. Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. Okay. So you're throwing a party, right? Mm-hmm. And you need people to fill up the room. Who are you filling up the room with? It could be different artists or whatever. It's your like, and what is the vibe of the party? Is it like a chill party? You're is right. it like a that wild, crazy? A exactly, because there are some people that like I don't want at my chill party, but there's some people that like will be downers. Like I love Minyungi, but we're out there like chilling and jumping and like going crazy. And he's like, you know what? Life you is meaningless. <laughs> and Namjoon is like, what he means to say it. <laughs> And I don't have time for that. <laughs> I'm trying to They're get drunk and have fun. My party, what the fuck? That's so awesome. He's sleeping on the couch. You wake him up. Hey, are you okay? He's like, you know, <laughs> nothing good ever really happens. No. And Namjoon comes around. You know what's so funny that he says that because I'm gonna be like, Namjoon, stop preaching. <laughs> Let that boy be here. sad. <laughs> Let that boy be a depressed Pisces. That's like your bro ship. I don't even know. Like, I get where you're coming from. Don't let your sa- y- your friends be sad. But <laughs> like, let them be sad. Okay, so who's at what part? What is the vibe of the party, and who's there? My party is chill. I'm chilling always. So I am not invited. <laughs> Joking, I'm going. <laughs> Here you go. Hold this Kayla's invited, not you. <laughs> <laughs> she will bring me on for plus one. With a muzzle. Don't fuck at my party. Ooh, that's so good. Maybe stop. It's what not kind of fun. Kind of that? <laughs> that's the real vibe, but you didn't even know. That's what you got to do. I'm so sorry, I children. Um, Yumi's coming to my party. Namjoon's coming to my party, but he ain't preaching. I'm gonna be like, shut up. Let Yungi be sad. It's gonna be like a... (laughs) I'm gonna be like, you need to drink some more and just... Okay. Um... You know what? We need some loud people because... So I'm invited. I don't have to be a plus one. We we need some loud people because otherwise it's just a room full of quiet people. Going to sleep. <laughs> this no, like, this, this is like, a sleepover. It's <laughs> not a party. Y'all coming to like, oh, we about to party. Nine o'clock, Nick, we about to fuck out. <laughs> I'm like, hold up. We can't go out like this. We got to stand up. Everybody's just standing up drinking. And then they like they're leaning against the wall. They start sitting back down. And then it's out by 12. <laughs> oh man. At least the cops aren't getting called. So it's just two people. <laughs> I couldn't think of other people. It's just me and Yungi. It's fine. Okay. It's a sleepover. It's not. <laughs> so you changed the party to a date. Oh, oh perhaps. Okay. So my party. I got a couple different parties because I can't, I can't just have one, right? So I got, I don't want to be that bitch, but I guess I have to invite all of long time because if I leave somebody out, it's going to be like, hey, that's my homie, you know what I'm saying? AKA John Cook, I was going to leave him out. But I can't leave him out because he's cute, you know what I'm saying? And the cuties bring girls and the girls bring guys and that just makes money for me because I'm charging people by the head, right? <laughs> Look, I got to make money because I know some dumb shit is going to happen and I need to be able to pay it off. So, <laughs> they're coming. <laughs> Um, who else is gonna be there? NCT, because that's a fuck ton of people. That's a lot of money. Listen, that's a lot of babooling. That's a lot of babooling, but that's like they would bring. They're fun. Johnny knows people. He will bring people. That's money right there. Um, I got. I need some girls. Oh my god, can I get Wonder Girls? They will be there to perform though. <laughs> Wonder Girls is there. Twice is there also because that's also a lot of ladies and that's also a lot Why of money for me. Exit? I was going to, but 
I don't want them to see me <laughs> like being a mess. I would invite them to my nice party. This is just like the everybody's invited party, but not everybody's invited. <laughs> um, <laughs> everybody's invited, but not you. Look, Yana's there because Yana, she, I think <gasps> she would bring like a really, a really cool crowd. And, hmm, I don't know. Ooh, oh my God. I would get Johnny. And I am and Hyung Wan to be DJs because I like their sets and it would be really fun music. And then that's that one party. <laughs> then I have the sophisticated party where Tae Hyung is just Tae Hyung and me sitting there drinking red wine. And that's a date. <laughs> <laughs> he could be there. Nam Jun could be there. Um, I think that I want Ellie to be there. And I want... Who else is invited to... Oh my god, Vix. Oh my god, Vix. Okay, wait. Oh god, I have a new idea. What? If you're having a dinner party, who are you inviting? Taehyung is first on my list, besides my wife. Um, <laughs> <laughs> like, it's really Kayla and Taehyung. Um, oh my god. Hakyun is there. Vic, I'm in from Vix. Um... Mm, I wouldn't say Leo would be there, but I would, would be too afraid that I would like <laughs> <laughs> fuck something up and embarrass myself in front of him. Oh my god, Top is there. Sungri's there because I feel like he would like get us a really great chef. Like if I was like, hey, I'm having a dinner party, he'd be like, oh my god, I can bring somebody to cook for you. He would keep everybody talking. Exactly. He would be like a really great party friend. Um, I will invite Jiang there just to elevate the entire like price of the party. <laughs> I feel like, he, like <laughs> the net worth yes, of the yes, as as dinner as, party. Yes, as soon as he walks in, everything just feels so expensive. <laughs> um, ooh, who else is there at this dinner party? I think I would want. Oh my god! I need CL in a fur coat. Oh my god! So then it just keeps getting richer and richer and richer, more expensive. I can't even afford to eat at my own dinner party. <laughs> Um, Jiang walks into your party. He's and, like, "You're a broke bitch." Look, get out. And I'm like, "Thank you so much for being here." <laughs> oh my god, I would invite Hyuna. Oh my god, I would invite Hani. But that's because I love. Um, damn. Oh my god, I would invite. I would invite Kibom. Oh my god, can you imagine Ki showing up to a party? That'd be great. I would. I would he's be, gotta be at your fucking art ho party. He has. Oh, he's. He's second right after Tae Young. Um, who else is at my party? Oh wow. Hmm. Yep. That's all. Oh, Sunmi. Oh my God, Sunmi walking into the room in a nice. Oh, she's in there. Wow. This is a really sexy party, and I need somebody to actually get on this. How do I start like a Kickstarter to have this dinner party? Comment below if you know how to do that. Okay, but now I have a different hell for you <clears throat> new party new party we love a party jimin and hosuk no this is and wanho shut so and shonu yes no <laughs> no I'm not answering this. You don't even have to ask what there it is. There was no choice. Like, there was no question. That was the scenario. I said this is just a new them? hell for you. Oh, just <laughs> yes. them in a room? Yeah, just Can in I, a room. Do I have to have my time. glasses on? <laughs> yes. I have, do I have to be able to see, though? <laughs> <laughs> That's the real question. Yes. Well, no. I don't want to be in this room. I don't. Because I got you got Hosek and Hosek. You got Park Jimin and then you have literally Shonu. Literally not figuratively Shonu. <laughs> literally Shonu. No, not not in this What kind of party is this? The thotty what? party? Like <laughs> What am I supposed to do with this? It's too much. God, those are literally all of the people that I bias in my life. Oh, shit. Shonu really is like a hard spot because like, I can't imagine him ever looking at me. Like, I really wouldn't know what to do if he ever glanced in my direction. I would just start crying. And then he'd come over and be like, huh, what? And okay, then I'd be like, stop. New scenario. No! Okay. Shonu. No, God. And Hyorin. Oh, my God. 
Oh my god. <laughs> the skin. Literally, we're... God. There's so much. Shonu and Yorin and Jesse. Let me stop. Let me shut my mouth. Um, <laughs> that sounds fun. What are we doing? Just being brown and beautiful? Like, we're sitting out in the sun? Like, what are we doing? Y'all going to Jeju. Oh my god. Y'all catching some sun. I'm excited. <laughs> oh yes. Okay, I'm I'm down for Oh my maybe, god. Maybe like having some... a dance, you know. Oh my god, yes. We're summer crew. Oh my god, you know what's crazy? Everybody's in crop tops. That's like the uniform. When I... <laughs> That's the uniform. Whenever we get together we have to wear crop tops. <laughs> oh my god, look, Shonu is so cause like you know what I'm saying? Like he's just so what? He's big and he dances. Oh his oh god. My back hurts now. Jesus. <laughs> I feel as if when I set up I like there's something out of my back. I pulled like a muscle in my back. It stressed me out. Do you have any more questions? We're at an hour now. We really feel uh-huh, bad. Uh-huh. Really quickly. <laughs> Thank you for being here for chilling lemons and slash lemons after dark. Look, God, please don't flag it's not Drew. He's gonna hear that you uninvited him to your little party. Oh my God! And he's gonna downvote us. Wait, not Drew. Wait, you don't gotta go home. He probably is not here show anymore. Up. <laughs> he was literally like, "Oh, I can't come to your party," and he was he like logged out. We're having our own party. You guys answer. Who stop? <laughs> you guys answer. What kind of party would you want? Who's there? What type of music is it? What's the overall vibe? You know that we're aesthetic hoes, so like, what's the aesthetic? Yo, there's all kinds of Christmas lights in this bitch. It's only Christmas lights. Only Christmas lights. I don't even own any bulbs. <laughs> what's a bulb? Who is she? <laughs> oh, wow. color changing lights. Yeah, that's me. Oh my god, that sounds so fun. And you're just sitting there. Sitting around, but the kitchen light is on and I'm cooking. Why? But there's a bulb in there though, right? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna be like, be. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, mm, that's a little dangerous. It's gonna be dark. Cooking in the dark, and Yungi's over your shoulder, like, wow, like nothing really matters. <laughs> <laughs> and from the bathroom, Namdu's like, well, actually, <laughs> what he means is. We're all a part of the universe. We are made up of what the stars are made up of. And there are millions and billions on trillions on gazillions of stars. And I'm like, oh my god, I didn't even know those were numbers. Exactly, honey. And how about this? When Let me stop because I will turn into Namju. Because what Yoongi means that none of this really matters is that like it doesn't matter. Like it's okay. Like it Because it doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. You're okay. Wow, Namjoon really knows how to bring it right back around and make everything happier. Thank you, Namjoon. I think that just got us an upvote from him. <laughs> <laughs> he just took back his downvote. <laughs> We've appeased the Namjoon gods. Um, my inner turk. Wow. Um, my name is Channon. I'm Gerald. This has been Splitting Lemons, Chilling Lemons, and sp- <laughs> Splitting Out Lemons After Dark. <laughs> oh don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, comment below something i don't know say hey oh or uh ask us what do you want us to talk about in our next chilling lemons who knows when that'll come back around um oh next week we will have a visual podcast yeah this week um your boy's feeling haggard my skin is mad oily i took off my wig as soon as i got in the house and i took a long ass nap i'm not really feeling it um i was gonna wear my wig for the next one <gasps> Oh. But then I needed to wash my hair and I didn't feel like bringing my hair back down. So I'm not wearing a wig this week. Ayo. So. Let that scalp breathe. I say as I don't do that for the fourth month in a row. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways. Um, we'll be back next week with the visual podcast. Hopefully you guys will enjoy that. Um, once again, my name is Channon. Gear. <laughs> Gear Bear. <laughs> Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> we just spit those women. <laughs> talk. Man. Okay, bye. Just okay. no more. That, that's it. Like, get out. <laughs> okay, I'm leaving. Bye. I had, a, I had a classmate who we called Gary Coleman. 
Why? He looked like him a little bit, but he was mostly just black, so racist. Oh my god! Wait, in high school? Mm -hmm. I know exactly who we're talking about. <laughs> exactly who we're talking about. Alright, love you guys, bye. Deuce is Gary.